What's going on YouTubers, gamers and hobbyists and welcome to Chill With Pete, the series where you get to chill out with me, have a coffee break, uh, hopefully by the time I've done yabbering I'll have drunk my coffee. Um, it's where I just give you the highlights of things that have been going on um, during the week really, uh, although it's not a weekly series, sometimes weeks go by and nothing happens, you know the ones. Uh, other times you just haven't got the time to do it, real life, and and yet other times, yeah, weeks are pretty busy, and you have the time to talk about it at the weekend. So this is a weekend today. It's actually Sunday, and I actually have a day off you know, on a Sunday. Yay! Ha, so I've just literally done one of these, and on my old phone. Because I just want it to be easier to set up because I've got my other camera set up for another video that I'm going to be doing later. I'm trying to cram it all in one day. And um, yeah, iPhone ran out of storage. Grr. So on my actual phone now. So there you go. So that's something that's happened. <laughs> um, this past week, I got to learn that I'm through to the next stage of another job application for the same company I keep applying for. Um, it's actually, you know, where my wife works and it is actually for her old job. And I don't mean the same job role or the same title uh, or similar role. It is her actual old job that she's left, uh, the vacancy. So I'm one of the few uh, ones that have got through. Um, I just kind of hope I can impress them enough with my past experience and what I'm doing now. Hope I can answer the questions okay for them. I've certainly been prepping enough. My wife's been helping me because she knows the role inside out. And technically she can help me as well. She, yeah, yeah, what types of technical questions they can ask me. What they asked her. What the role involves. Job specifics. All that stuff. And I'm not going to be relying on notes this time because last time I got penalised for that. Even though they said it was okay. They literally said, I quote, Yep, no problem. Fill your boots. Use your notes. And then several weeks later, unfortunately you get through because, you know, it was felt that you relied on your notes. What? There, I'm not getting into that because that's, you know, that's gone. That is out of the way. That's kick to the curve, that one. So, gather my strength, do it again. Because I do find these types of interviews draining. They're very draining. I'm... The preparation, the prep... I mean, I'm... I'm going to do as much prep as I can for this one. Given the fact I'm not going to use notes. So I'm just studying, studying, studying. Trying to memorise, trying to memorise, trying to memorise. Um, you know, and I have a couple of bullet points off camera just so I can quickly glance. Go, oh yeah, in my mind I'll be like, right, don't forget to mention that, don't forget to mention that. Because I don't care what anybody says, when, it, when you have a technical, when it's a technical job, when, you re, when you're in a technical role, you rely on notes. You have a, you write yourself a how-to manual, almost. This is something my wife's done for all her jobs as well. Great thing to get into when you, you get into a new role. Write yourself a how-to guide, even though there might be one in existence already. But even if there is, write it for yourself because writing it will ingrain it up here. And that way it will instill in the information you need to do your job. So, hey, job is good. So we're doing that, doing lots of um, practicing, preparation, research on the company, and I don't know how deep they're going to go. I don't. The only thing I don't need to rehearse is my character, because, you know, I am pretty much like you see here. For when I'm, when I'm interviewing, I, I try to be a bit more professional, I suppose. I like the icebreaker to start with because that, it tells me where what sort of vocabulary they use and then I can use like vocabulary and keep it on an even keel. 
because I've had all sorts, all different levels of um, vocabulary from real technical, quite posh stuff to, you know, you know, colloquial vernacular syntax. I have. And it's, it could be any, any one of those. And I don't know the people that are going to be interviewing me. I don't know what they're, the way they construct their sentences, but I find if you match you know, you give like for like, it kind of, you get on better, but there you go. So, no pressure, but this is a life-changing interview for me. If I could get this job, it would be life-changing in a lot of ways. Um, it would mean, uh, it would mean days of struggle are gone, essentially, and we'd be all right again. It would also mean I could help my daughter to get a place off of her own because she's a, an apprentice uh, for the same company. But apprentices, they don't get very paid very well. You know, it's not until they've qualified and they're in the job proper, and that's a couple of years away yet. Yeah. Trying to find somewhere, she, she's desperate to, to move out of home get her independence and I you know I respect that totally I I I really do so if I can help her do that um, because we obviously there's a mortgage to pay on where we live in now uh, but this job would enable me to get a mortgage independently on my own get the mortgage buy a small little flat or apartment somewhere and she can then rent that from me for you know cost what I pay, you know, <laughs> because she won't be able to get a mortgage on her, her wages. So it's crazy, I know, but uh, yeah. So I'm. That's what I want to do. I want to help her. I want to do it. It's you know, family, and I, I just want to give her the best start because I I didn't have the best start when you know leaving home and it was. Um, very hard times, I mean some real hard times. I don't want to, anyone else to go through that, especially my family. No, not happening. So I want to get that done for her. And not only that, it would also in there, because it's a, the role is permanently, it's a permanent role. Yeah, great. So I'm, I'm on, where I work now is for the police. It's temporary. Although they keep renewing the contracts, but it's a temporary contract. You can't get things like mortgages on a temporary contract. It's just, it just doesn't happen. It'd be a permanent contract. Oh, and I don't get sick pay. Not real sick pay. I get um, the, um, statutory stick, sick pay, which is, you can't live on that. <laughs> I get, I'd get full sick pay. I'd get benefits and goodness knows what else. Uh, maybe some discount for life insurance, which I'd like to look into good pension, you know, all the, the full bit. Those perks. It would also mean working from home permanently. I could get rid of my car. I don't need my car. I'm working from home, you know? So there's an expense out the window as well. And yeah, it's just, it would be life-changing. Get our place done up here. We could probably move to where we want to move to at that point in time, at that juncture. We could go to Seaton. It all depends on this. It would, probably wouldn't be for a year or two anyway, because we need to get this place up to code. Because we would probably, I'm guessing we'd either sell this place or let it out. I don't know what would work best. That would have to be looked into. But... Then we could go to Seaton, where we want to live, by the sea. It's a sea town. I know Plymouth's by the sea, but it's different. It's more of a naval-based city. I don't want to be in a city. I want to be in a town by the sea. I prefer town life to city life. I've spent most of my life in a city now, although I grew up in the town, on small countryside places. I've spent most of my life in the city. I don't like the city. I never wanted to live in the city. It's all right. Visiting the city, that's fine. Uh, or staying for a holiday, like I used to stay with my aunts when I was young. But living here, that was never my, that was my parents, obviously, because 
sort of parents do. My parents wanted to live nearer to uh, my mum's sister. Um, you know, my dad was friendly with his brother-in-law, and it's just you know friendship thing. And I get that. They felt the school would be more appropriate for me uh, here, or there would be a more appropriate school than back home, back to Seaton. I I get it. I get why they did it. Um, but at the time, I hated it. You know, I did not want to come here. I had to leave all my friends behind. Yeah, and you know what it's like. Go somewhere new as a kid, trying to make new friends. You got to go through all that crap. <laughs> and it is, isn't it? Because, you know, you talk differently, you speak differently to the way local people speak and they pick up on that. They're like, get him, let's get him, you know, you get, you get in trouble, fights and goodness knows what else. God, I've given you a life history here. Uh, but, you know, it's just the stuff kids do, but uh, I'm going off on a tangent now. I tend to do that. But anyway, so that's the highlight of uh, the main thing from last week was that I've got an interview next week, Friday. My second day off, so it's day off, so it's good. It's, you know, nine o'clock in the morning, so wish me well on that one. And I want all your good luck vibes heading my way. I need them, really need this job because I can't keep going uh, doing what I'm doing. The content's just too bad, it's horrific sometimes. Um, I think it would drive anybody insane long term what I'm doing now. I'd much rather work on things like naval projects and uh, ships and submarines and whatever it may be, whatever in infrastructure department I could end up in. It doesn't matter. I would just like to work in that environment. And that's it. Other news. Hobby news. I've accumulated a few more bits for my Imperial Fists, some, uh, my tactical marines, my, some more arms and... Couple of shoulder pads and that's mostly arms so I've got some heads on the way and some more shoulder pads. I'll get them built eventually. I'm thinking of doing the ta those tactical marines third company. I might even do the red chest plate uh, insignia on, on their chest plates red as well. Maybe I might do that. Weather here is weird. Uh, being Raining off and on. Don't like it. <laughs> don't like the rain. I really don't like the rain. Oh, so much going on. Hope we get our roof done soon. Uh, that's all a bit up in the air, and we're just waiting to hear from the roofer. Everything's a waiting game right now. Just waiting on people um, and you know, weather and all that other stuff. Uh, I've ordered a couple of more role-playing books, just tools to help me. Uh, random Encounters and an uh, adventure building book. I've got the Encounters book, but I haven't, it's only just arrived earlier today. Uh, they just unpacked it, so I haven't really looked for it yet. The other one hopefully will arrive sometime next week. So that'll be good. Yeah, all is good in the neighborhood. So that is good. Um, I have filmed on the bench, I filmed painting snippets, and that's about my week. I, I've, I literally just finished, you know, day before yesterday. My worst week, out of the four that I do in rotation, yeah, last week was my worst. Second worst one is coming up. But, because it's three late in a row, I don't like the, you know, I don't like late shift. I work uh, three o'clock in the afternoon until midnight. I don't like those shifts. They're, yeah, you're home, but people go to bed because they've got to get up early for their early shift. It's a bit lonely, there's nothing going on, you know, just uh, no life. It's, you know, definitely silence, you know, just apart from the clicking of your keyboard, you know, it's, yeah. I like working in the day, in the morning. Ooh. In the afternoon, obviously, but daytime hours, you know, and uh, other people are working as well. And you, your phone calls and your chats and all the rest of it all goes on during the day. Much better, much better. So that's another reason I want to get there as well. We, it'd be easier for us to um, tie in our holidays together. 
Because at the moment where I'm working now, holidays is a bit awkward. I have to ask the department I'm on, you know, can I have a holiday? Yeah. Then I have to approve it with the agency that I work for. You know, it's twice as long to get anything done. That said, they've been okay. I've had no hiccups thus far. So that's good. Uh, what time have I got here? I've got to lean forward. Ah, yeah, 50 minutes, not bad. It's a coffee break, so it's chill repeat. So I'm going to have another sip of coffee. I know I didn't, I didn't for one the last one, but uh, I like to cut these out. No one's seen me drink, but it is my, it is my kind of egg timer. It's about there, but it'll probably be about there when I finish this one. Do you want to see my rest of my Imperial Fists from Indomitus? That's some of them there. That's most of them there. Obviously, I've got a few more. Like I've got the Outriders and a couple of the, um, you know, the characters or leaders, whatever it is. Whatever the heck it is. I do need... I've got... Oh, I've also got... Um, Kitchen you know, my my friend, Mifos Kishranari, he got me Tor Garadon for Christmas. Oh, so good. I've also got... I have purchased myself Captain Lysander, although statistically, stats-wise, he's not as good. I just want him there for, you know, lore. And I've also ordered Pedro Cantor. Crimson Fists, no less. Not planning on a Crimson Fist army. I might do a couple of squads in the future. Who knows? Just to put in storylines. I know it's more blue, but it's a different type of blue. It's not the, like, uh, McCrag blue or Adolf Guard blue, Calgar blue types of the Ultramarines. It's Pedro Cantor, so we'd be starting with Cantor blue. Yeah. And... Yeah, so that's two little characters I've got there to do as well. So I've got my um, Dreadnought, Crash Dreadnought, although I haven't got an Imperial Fist Dreadnought yet, but I'm going to have to look out for one of those, aren't I? I've got to order some more varnish because I'm almost out. Boo. It's always something, isn't it? Yeah, it's always something. Still, the move, when I move, that'll be a good opportunity to get rid of a lot of stuff. Um that I don't need or use. Uh, it'd be good. I mean, I could fill, I could fill a couple of black bags here now with rubbish. I've got trash for trash terrain. That's different. Interesting little things that could be turned into ter terrain. So I've got that, which I'm doing anyway. So that's, that's fine. I have another sip of coffee. How's your coffees going? Probably drunk yours, haven't you? I bet you have. Well, I've drunk mine now, so get rid of that one. And that is Chill with Pete in a nutshell for this time. Uh, like I said, I know I don't do them every week, but heck, some weeks are different. Thanks ever so much for watching, though. You know, hats off to you if you've made it this far. Please give it a like if, if you like this type of nonsense and uh, but dislike it if you dislike this type of nonsense and you know either way helps me um, but if you want to want to further support me then share the video and I suppose like could be the main one though because the more likes the video gets the more likely it is to be suggested but if you really want to help the channel out check out patreon on mini warzone Patreon is where it's at. You get exclusive videos there. I'm going to be working on a new uh, tutorial soon for my patrons on um, my Imperial Fists. I'm still working out how I want, you know, wanting to do them myself, <clears throat> but I've got a rough idea now of how I like to do it. Yeah, so I'm going to be starting that one. That's that's going to be exciting. So anyway, stick around for that. Uh, see you on another video. Remember, all brushes lead to war. And bye for now. Bye bye.